Hey hello friends welcome to my channel in this Azure DevOps tutorial series today let's discuss about how to enable manual approval and checks before any deployment to an environment okay um, so this is going to be very uh, easiest and uh, quickest topic that we are going to discuss uh, but this I know it's going to be easy but this is something very much uh, you know widely used in the real-time implementation okay because whenever you are working or deploying on a sensitive environment like production right so this manual approval and checks will be usually employed okay so because you know, as a as an author um, as an owner of an environment you don't want to multiple uh, peoples to people to run uh, or deploy something to your environment especially sensitive environments like production or pre-production right so in these kind of situations what you can do is you can employ a manual approval or check so that designated user or any you know lead or devops lead can review what you are trying to deploy via a pipeline and can have better control over your environment okay so let's see how we can add that manual approvals and checks so once you know this is the pipeline that i have been using for demo purpose so once i edit this uh, you can see I have a couple of stages inside my YAML. So one is build stage and another one is a deployment stage. Okay, right. So th in this deployment release stage, right, so I have an environment called dev. Okay, so this is where I'm planning to deploy. Okay, in real time, it is mostly employed to production or pre-production environment, but there's nothing harm in deploying uh, to dev as well. You know, even in certain situations, people want to have control over development environment because because multiple people work on dev environment too okay so uh, for now for this demo purpose i'm just putting into a sample environment called dev but usually in real time you deploy it to prod or pre-prod okay so um okay so as part of this deployment i'm just performing uh, some activities like i'm just downloading artifact and just running a simple powershell task okay the basics of this yaml i have covered in my previous video you can refer that but coming to our actual topic okay so if you want to have that manual approval and check before running any deployment right so you can go to environments and you can go to your respective environment here in this situation dev is the environment that i am working on so once you go to this approval and checks condition a tab so once you click on that you can view all checks so that you can view all kind of uh, approvals and checks that is available inside a environment okay there are multiple check types okay so we have branch control it will uh, you know um, uh, it will actually enable you to run uh, the pipeline on particular branches okay similarly you can evaluate the artifacts you can um, you know perform some pre-check approvals and regular approvals okay. and you can even invoke an Azure function there are a lot of other checks that you can implement here as part of this approvals and checks for now for simpler understanding let's take a approvals okay so as a I'll check this approval click on next and add that approver details for now I am just adding my name and just give some sample instruction to the approver okay mm, so deployment to dev environment uh, please approve okay you can give any meaningful comment based on your requirement okay just create it so once you create it you can see i got an entry under this approval and checks okay so it uh, shows all the details of the checks that you have been added okay so once you click on this now there are few other options okay so you can edit it disable it or delete it you can also change the execution order okay so um no uh, for now we have only one uh, approvals and checks okay there might be situations where you might have multiple approvals and checks isn't it in those kind of situation you can actually um you know, rearrange this execution order uh, should it run to pre approve before pre check approvals or post check approvals so you can even change that execution order here for simplicity I'm just adding only one basic approvals and checks. Now if I go to my pipeline and run, okay. So now if I go to my pipeline and run, so let's see what's happening. Okay, so once I kickstart my pipeline, now my build stage started run. So I'm expecting a um, approval or check, manual approval check 
before deploying to the development environment okay so this is gonna take a while to run so i'm just gonna pass it for a few seconds and resume once the build stage is completed yeah now my build stage completed once my build stage is completed you can see i got a pop-up telling one approval needs your review before this run can continue to deployment okay so once i expand this deployment stage right you can see the deployment stage is still waiting for for a manual approval okay so if i am not the owner then probably i would request my owner to actually uh, get this approved for deployment else you know, in this case i am the owner of the pipeline and i am the administrator so what i'm going to do is i'm just clicking on this review and you can clearly see there is a pop-up waiting for my review for approval so here i can either approve or reject it or defer approval okay so uh, in in, a, in certain cases uh, you know you don't want to uh, perform this deployment okay so for example you know it's it's running on a unsuitable time okay so it's running on a peak hour so you do not want to deployment do not want to perform a deployment now okay there might be various reasons right so in those kind of situations you can defer that approval you can either reject this approval uh, reject this deployment completely okay for now i'm just gonna approve it so once i approved it you can see that pop-up went off and my deployment stage started running okay so it's not started yet but you can clearly see this started running once i go into my deployment stage you can see it's just waiting for this stage to be completed okay so this way you can clearly uh, have control over your environment uh, against you know, who and what are getting deployed to your sensitive environments like production or pre-production okay so this is a very basic and simple way to set a approval or approval or manual check before performing any deployment okay this way there are multiple check types which you can um, employ before performing any pipeline run okay so we'll discuss about all those things in our upcoming videos okay that's all for now if you like this video please subscribe and follow my channel thank you